So this here is like the uh, the crown of Isis. There's on the Statue of Liberty, and the uh, the triangles here are slightly lifted, which we can see on the Statue of Liberty as well. And there are seven, I think. So this is off Ranch in Omaha Beach. Uh, there it says Omaha Beach. Here are six, we can see here six things for its um, pyramids like. That's the, um, the, like the Statue of Liberty, or it is seven, I don't know. Uh, Patton Statue. Yeah, hi tubers, we're here today and uh, I know you guys all know Sean very well, you don't know me. Sean's made a lot of effort with the Faro show, making a lot of effort and putting a lot of videos in. I'm Flying Trader from the YouTube, Flying Trader 1, and uh, I've been in touch with Sean. He's made the effort to come up all the way up here, four days hitchhiking, and I made the effort to fly over to France to meet him. And we're here at a memorial of the satanic ritual that was the D-Day landings uh, carried out by these things that uh, Sean and uh, many many of us now in the world are becoming aware of the pharaoh lineage, the blood lineage and I've come over basically to meet up with Sean to discuss the deeper issues behind this and that is the issues that the things behind the pharaonic bloodline are in fact not human entities. This is something that we, a lot of people on the tube are waking up to. Um, the reptilian agenda and um, their boss, which is in fact Saturn and Isis. Um, it's a well-known fact that they allowed the D-Day landings to happen on the sixth day of the sixth month at the sixth hour. And that particular massacre when we actually had air superiority they allowed these poor American kids and British soldiers to run up the beach into withering machine gun fire where they were slaughtered in, 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 in their thousands. Um, this despite the fact that at the time the RAF and the American Air Force had air superiority but they chose to do it on a, on a day of the six month at the six hour <laughs> And, um, you know, we're putting all these facts together now. We're starting to understand these things, these people. And all of us need to make more effort to get together like Sean and I have done um, to understand more about what's going on in this world and so that these things will never happen again, so that we will never have to go to war for these ISIS-worshipping Satanists. And, um, you know, we're making the effort, guys, and... Um, I'd like to give a shout out to some guys that we know are also making big effort. Let's get free three and uh, Pocolo 986. Who's there's a lot of information um, on Pocolo 986's channel about these reptilian entities. We need to wake up to them. They are a reality. They are not human in any way, shape, or form, and they worship Satan, Saturn, and their business is death. And as we all know, and as Sean very often has pointed out, it's international bankers behind this. Um, the Swiss have financed wars on both sides. They were financing Hitler, they were financing the Americans. Um, international banking is responsible for a lot of evil. And um, I think it's, you know, we're very small at the moment. There's a lot of you guys out there who I know who care about this issue. And like I said, I've come here to try and explain to Sean the deeper elements of really what's going on here. Um, it's not just a question of secret societies and masons and international banking. We understand that. But we, we need to dig deeper and go further into this. You know, what is happening? You know, what, what are these symbols about? What do they mean? And we're starting to understand what they mean. They mean a different bloodline. And that different bloodline are the reptilians. So uh, this is Flying Trader 1, as you said. Uh, Flying Trader 1, um, do you think, I know the Swiss are very, very cold, cold-hearted, they have no hearts, they take decisions only money-wise and financially elite. They were in no war at all. It's very, um, 
Uh, do you think they might be reptilians? I think that there are a lot of reptilians. I think at the end of the day, we've got to understand that international banking are the ones responsible for financing war. In, you know, they're brewing up now for a war in Syria, war for oil. We've got to wake up to the war for oil. We've got to wake up to what they're doing. They're taking young kids out of Iowa, out of the United States. They're pushing them into Afghanistan. They're pushing them into Syria. They're pushing them in here, there and everywhere. And they're doing it in our name. And it's only by people like Sean and people like, you know, there are a lot of guys on YouTube who do a lot of great work and people like yourselves. And really what we're trying to say is give you encouragement to keep it up, you know, keep waking the world up because so this will never happen again and that we never have to go through these things again. You know, we need to do this for the future, for our children, for our families. Uh, sure, we're well aware that the International Banking Center of Switzerland, we know this. We know that international banking is responsible for a lot of evil in this world. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we know that the, uh, all the financial elite, the mid nobility, they all go skiing there. Yeah. Uh, so well, they, they're skiing and they're paying no taxes. I know Switzerland and, uh, is the base of the pharaohs. Uh, so uh, you might say you're into reptilians and, and uh, lizards. So uh, would, would, would you say that Switzerland is the base of the reptilians? I wouldn't say. I, I, we, we don't know, Sean. Is the honest? Is the honest? Is, is the honest fact? You know, the truth. Yeah, it's a it's a very 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 evil place in terms of what it finances and what they get up to. We know that. Um, international banking is responsible for all of this, and uh, we need to wake up to it. But more importantly, we need to wake up that we have an intraspecies predator amongst us, and this is a fact. And they are very clever. They're very patient and they're very ritualistic. As you can see, ritual is very, very important to them. The obelisks, the pyramids, you know, it's never ending everywhere you turn. And the more, you know, Sean, if you go into Sean's videos, dig deep into it, understand the symbolism, understand what it means. And um, hopefully, slowly, we'll start getting together more people like us and we'll start trying to make some changes waking the world up to what's really going on here so that something like this hopefully never has to happen again so you think they're not human i believe a lot of them are, are not human yeah. yeah thank you flying trader one you're welcome good, good to, to know meet you, you mate and it's been a pleasure <laughs> so this is omaha beach where they landed and and we are here avranche Uh, it looks like a pyramid here, you know, like... Uh... Oh, by Flying Trader. He's a great guy. Very good. <laughs> 